Today we are turning our gaze to Scandinavia, to Sweden, to the home of ABBA. Not only is the country famous for producing one of the greatest music groups of all time, but it has also produced some excellent technology companies. Spotify, the Swedish music streaming company that combines music and technology, has been described as the business that saved the music industry. What we like about Spotify is that the CEO Daniel Ek, a former guitarist in his own right, has shown the vision, determination and skill to build the largest music streaming business in the world. They have creatively used the ad-sponsored free model to initially attract customers and then to gradually convert them to loyal paying customers. There were some 108 million at last count. With over 1.3 billion payment-enabled smartphones across the globe, there is now a long runway for growth. And why stop at music? Why not offer more things to listen to? The full audio market. Spotify is now a leader in the fast-growing market of podcasts. And for example, they recently signed a deal with Barrick and Michelle Obama to produce podcasts for Spotify. Now, as is typical for relatively young technology companies, the initial objective is to get the subscribers and attain market dominance. The profits come later. This is just how the technology industry works. So as you would expect, Spotify is currently only breaking even in terms of profits. But the share price is suggesting that the company will only achieve a 6% operating profit margin over the long term. Considering how the market may evolve and the strength and vision of the team at the company, we think they will do better than 6%. In other words, the share price has room to grow. Spotify was one of the first investments we made in our recently launched Anchor Global Technology Fund. This fund not only invests in some of the most promising up-and-coming global tech companies, but also in many large, where the profits have arrived, global technology giants like Alibaba, Amazon and others.